Oh Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu apewe heshima. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu ainuliwe. Ninashukuru kwa ajili ya uwepo wa Mungu siku ya leo katikati yetu na ni vizuri kufurahia to be in the presence of God. Kile ambacho kinaleta tofauti katika mkutano wa watu wa Mungu na mikutano mingine is the presence of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Without his presence we are doing nothing. Without his presence we are going nowhere. Without his presence milima haiwezi kuyayuka but we praise the God of heaven because when we walk with him mountains and hills they met in his presence. Praise the name of Jesus. Pigia huyu Bwana Yesu makofi. Amekuwa mwema kwetu, amekuwa mwaminifu, amehifadhi taifa letu na makusudi yake ni mazuri. And he is our God and our strength. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na ametupatia utulivu maana tumejua neno la Mungu katika Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 ninasema ya kwamba usifadhaike lakini kwa kile jambo let your request be made known to God and when you make your request and all your anxiety the peace of God that passes all understanding shall keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus Bwana Yesu asifiwe praise the name of the Lord you unapata hiyo exchange ya kubadilishana Mungu chukua anxiety yangu chukua shughuli zangu na mimi unipatie amani because that is all i need and even today we have surrendered the anxiety in our nation to him so that we may get the peace that passes all understanding praise the name of jesus that you maana umekucha kanisani siku ya leo because god has given you peace bwana yesu asifiwe haukuchagua kuketi nyumbani Haukusema ya kwamba ni wakati wa kupumzika but you came in the house of God. Jipigie makofi katika jina la Yesu. Praise the name of the Lord. Jipigie makofi in Jesus mighty name. May the Lord bless you so much. Otherwise Yesu ni Bwana, ni mwokozi katika maisha yangu. Na ninamshukuru kwa ajili ya neema yake na amani ambayo amenipatia and the strength that I have today and the, con the confidence I have in him kama vile Paul alisema ya kwamba for I am persuaded beyond any reason of doubt that he is able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day Bwana Yesu asifiwe Paul had all the confidence ya kwamba akishaomba that God
Jesus. Sometimes they can't go shinda ni kirudia because he is well able to keep. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hiyo usichoke kumuoga Mungu because he is well able to preserve. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ukinipatia maziwa uniambie niweke nitakutia next week. Ujue nikiweka mahali ambapo ni kwa ndogo temperature utaichukua ikiwa maziwa lala nikikukinipatia yamba uniambie hii tutapika 2 weeks to come ujue ya kwamba nikiweka hii ndogo temperature hiyo nyama hata hakuna mtu atataka kuiona but ukijua ya kwamba nitaiweka kwa freezer you will be sure ya kwamba utaikuta ikiwa salama our God is a preserver. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. He is able to preserve our prayer. Bwana Yesu asifiwe because anatupenda as the children of the most high God. Sema I am a child of the most high God. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of Jesus. Wakati tulikuwa tunafundishwa Bible study, tulikuwa tunaambiwa obey your parent, your mother and father. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na wengine wetu wazazi wetu wote walishaenda wako mbinguni wana celebrate but i thank god we have a father in heaven praise the name of the lord abai he is the same yesterday today and forever bwana yesu aheshimiwe and he is able to keep that which have committed unto him and get us that today because i know who i have believed Because I know today there are some things to taongeza to keep and to heal. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Huwa tunaendelea kuongeza because we know ataendelea kutimiza katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want us to 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 share the word of God tukiwa pamoja. Uh, from the book of Isaiah chapter 64 uh, he maandiko iliandikwa na mtumishi wa Mungu wa Isaiah kama vile ulisikia tuki tukibiwa na watoto huma mai to send Isaiah alikuwa nabii wa Mungu na wakati mmoja alikuwa amejichanganya sana na mambo mingi na siku moja ukisoma chapter 6 utakuta ya kwamba aliona utukufu wa Mungu alipoona utukufu wa Mungu akaria na ya kwamba yeye akamwambia Mungu nimeona utukufu wako na migomo yangu ni michafu na ninaishi katikati ya watu waovu alafu Mungu kwa sababu alikuwa anataka kumtumia akachukua kala moto from the altar of heaven akachoma ulimi wa Isaia alipo Samehewa Biblia inatuambia ya kwamba ndipo alisikia sauti ya Mungu ikiuliza nitamtuma nani who am mwae to send na Isaia akasema ya kwamba here I am send me nataka kukuambia siku ya leo that God wants to use you lakini lazima ubadilishe na utamani kuona utukufu wa Mungu the moment you experience and you know the purpose and the presence Utaza kuona kubungu kiwa kwako Utaza kuona utaitu wako
name of Jesus. So Isaiah akasema here I am. And I believe we need to tell God. Mungu acha kutafuta mtu tena. I believe Mungu alikuwa amesumbuka. Hata wewe unaweza jibu maombi ya Mungu. Amen. Unajua Mungu alikuwa amekosa mtu wa kutuma. Unaweza kuwa peke yako umekosa mtu wa kutuma duka. Mungu alikuwa amekosa mtu wa kutuma kufanya kazi ya hukumu. Na hafai kukosa mtu wetu ya hii. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Tukisema tunajitanisha na yeye. And I believe we are supposed to tuambie Mungu kama Isaiah. Here I am. That was the message from the little children that Isaiah responded and said, Here I am. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu apewe heshima. Pigia Bwana Yesu makofi. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So our God needs someone to say, Akampata Isaiah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. A Biblia inasema ya kwamba from Isaiah 64 verse 1 Nataka tutifundishe kuskusu a new dimension of prayer. New dimension of prayer. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu apewe heshima. Amen. Amen. Tumesema ya kwamba wakati tunaomba Mungu ana preserve maombi yetu. Hata ile uliopa zamani bado imeiweka na anatimiza katika wakati wake. In Jesus name. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Biblia inasema ya kwamba Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down, that the mountains would tremble before you. As when the fire sets twigs ablaze and causes water to boil, come down to make your name known to your enemies and cause the nations to quake before you. This was a prayer. About the Fajika na the remnants, about Walibaki Judah. One of back in Judah, after we give them that captivity, this is the prayer they made before God. When you put on Gania, was on their Kwamba, this place, Vida Yuko Zamani, is not the way it is. Come up here to the Reza Giangaria, my Shayetu, to Angaria to one of their Kwamba, me, me, Siko, come on, that is the Okoka. Now I am a different person. Wakafika Mahali, Wakawa, Nakiwi Amungu, Wakafuku. Ya kwa mbamu kwa mbibuni, 
siku tu. Haleluya. Pasua bingu maisha yangu ibadilike. Pasua bingu taifa letu ibadilike. Pasua bingu familia yangu ibadilike. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It's not everything unaweza kununua na pesa. Mungu wetu atusaidie. Usingizi hauwezi kununua na pesa. Uponyaji hauwezi kununua na pesa. Hata kama uko na pesa hata ukienda hospitali, the final product is God who is our healer. Maana tunaona wengine wanakuwa flown mahali kwa nchi zingine and they don't come back because when God opens the heaven, he acts in a supernatural way. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh hallelujah. Mwambie Mungu pasua bingu kwa ajili yangu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Pasua bingu kwa ajili ya maisha yangu. Pasua bingu kwa ajili ya kanisa hili. Praise the name of Jesus. Nasikia tuombe kwanza tuambie Mungu apasue bingu. Tusimame kumwambia Bwana, "Rent the heavens." Tutaomba na Kiswahili na utaambia Mungu, "Sijui ni jambo gani unasikia ni mlima katika maisha yako." Kwa 
sababu kikaribia hata brand itakuishia so kalikuwa kama kalikuwa mbali kidogo karefu hivi kalikuwa kanaitwa kamotori na kikuyu ama kapaipu na kizungu sasa ndio ungeweka pressure kutoka hapo una huha hiyo moto iwake wacha nikwambie kuni ikiwa bariki utashinda hapo hadi uchoke huko Mungu wetu atusaidie. So tunaambiwa ya kwamba as fire burns, brush wood, as fire causes water to boil. Na kuambia hiyo moto kitaboikosa maji kichemuke ni stress. Maana inawaka inazima. Unajaribu kuweka makaratasi, makaratasi inawaka inaisha. Inawaka kidogo inazima, but there is a fire that cannot be quenched. Praise the name of Jesus. Moto wa kundi ambazo zimekauka ndio unalete maji kuchemka. Nataka kusema hivi, Biblia inasema kuna basho inasema ya kwamba as fire causes as fire melts. Fire moto bao una melt. Nikuonyeshe ya kwamba ni kitu ambacho ni kikubwa kinahitaji moto kubwa. Mungu wetu atusaidie in the mighty name of Jesus. As fire Kichaka, as fire burns a brush wood, 
Ninaweza choma kichaka. Unajua moto ikiingia kwa kichaka inachoma kila kitu. Ikikuta nyoka huko ndani inachomeka. Ikikuta majani, ikikuta toto hizi imekuwa maumbo inachoma. So this fire can work for everybody in Jesus mighty name. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hii moto ni kali, inaweza kuchoma. Sio hiyo kundi nimewaambia. It is the fire from heaven. Praise the name of Jesus. Mungu wetu atusaidie that we may get this fire from above. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. This is a prayer in a new dimension. That Lord, we need your fire. Amen. We need your fire in Kenya. We need revival in Kenya. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Moto yo tunaitaji. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Wakati, wakati, Samson alifunga bwana wawili akawakisha moto alafu akakibiria kwa ngano ya wafilisti walienda wakachoma ngano mahali kubwa sana so the fire of god is able to act in our lives Amen. praise the name of jesus simwambie bwana fire fall on me fire. praise the name of jesus oh hallelujah fire fall on me fire fall on us in jesus mighty name Amen. Kuna moto unaweza shuka juu yetu. Maisha yetu yabadilike milele. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Atuondolee upungufu wa kila aina. Moto unaweza kuja uchome udhaifu wako wote. Mungu wetu anaweza lete moto akufundishe kufanya biashara. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If our God can bless other people na awaidue, you are not an exception. Say, I am not an exception. In Jesus' name. Kama wahindi, wakifugua kazi ya subui, kuna kaplesi wameweka miungu yao. Wanakibiaga hapo, wanaomba. Hata kuna mutu walifutu wa kazi, kwa sababu ya kuwenda kuangalia zile mitu huwa wanaomba. Akafutu wa kazi from that day. How about us? About tunaomba mungu wetu wa kwe. Natiyo tunabiwa, tukaomba without zizi. That you to be a bit to be We need the fire of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. When the fire of the Holy Spirit comes, it brings manifestation. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. In a later manifestation, Mutu a bite report go to an apollo. A bite report with Aifu and a poor Nakufu. What I saw see here. We need the fire of God. It to us a queen the lair from glory to glory. Ni mapenzi ya mungu tukakua from one glory to another. Bwana Yesu wa sifiri. Friende nilikucha na makatu kutoka na kuru. Na nilifurai mina pendaa kusomba hizo vitu wanaweka hako. Kwa matatu. Ilikuwe meandikuwa I don't run. Ilikuwe meandikuwa I walk, I don't walk fast. I walk slowly but I don't walk backwards. Unasikia yu maneno? Mimi sikimbi, lakini ninatebea pole pole, lakini sitebea inanyuma. So, ni kwenyeshe ya gomba, ata kama pesi yake ya kutebea hivi ni kidogo. Still, ana move forward. When the fire of the Holy Spirit kwa dadi yako, you move progressively. Praise the name of Jesus. Unatebea from one glory to another. Na unatebea katika pande zote Wakati unatebea na moto wa rongu takatifu You walk with your family You walk with the saints Unatebea na watu pamoja Unasema kama Musa alipi osema Familia yangu si wachi nyuma Watoto si wachi nyuma Walikuwa wanabiwa And then muabudu muache watoto Na muache na muache mifugo Wakasema kuna kitu tutaacha when you have the fire of the Holy Spirit, you have a desire to walk with your family together. How to watch? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of Jesus. Utatembea pamoja na wao from glory to glory. Ukiende mbele za Bwana unawaombea, unawatia moyo kuendelea na kazi ya Mungu katika jina la Yesu. Praise the name of Jesus. Kama vile Mama Saidi amesema, unakuta watu wanaimba sana hapa wakati wanasema our Sunday school motto is wacha wasonge uko mbele nilisikia kwa tv mtu wakisema ya kwamba when i went to high school 
is when I knew that people don't go to church. What about when I'm in high school? I want to tell you in, far, in high school you can find God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. In high school you can move forward. In, the, in high school you can keep the fire burning until old age. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. God is what I feel. Because the man who is not in the year of the party, when I have said to you, Baba, he will not be saying that he is not. You own up even being in the church. You continue with the work of the ministry. It is here to begin in December. What will I do? What can I do? What can I do? Primary school. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? You will never see them on the altar. But that is what I do. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Well, 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hawa ni watoto ambao walikuwa kwa generation ambazo zilikuja ambao walikuwa wanaona vile kanisa imeharibiwa. Nataka kusema siku ya leo take care of the house of God. Wakati unaona kuna haribika, ambia Mungu nisaidie. Bwana Yesu aiduliwe. Hata kama wewe ni mtoto mdogo kama ke, ukiona mtu akitoka na kitu, muulize unapeleka wapi na hii kanisa yetu. This is not the church of your parents. This is your church. Pigia Bwana Yesu wa kofi. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So nimesema wakatubu mbele za Bwana. The last thing walisema sasa kuendelea they identify themselves with God. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Wakamwambia Mungu ya kwamba wewe ndiwe baba wetu. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Verse 8 inasema ya kwamba but now oh Lord you are our father. We are the clay and you our potter. And all we are is the work of your hands. Amen. Nataka kusema siku ya leo we have a father in heaven. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nikaanza na kusema ya kwamba atufungulie bibi. Nikarudi nikasema ya kwamba achilie moto wa Roho Mtakatifu katika maisha yetu. Nikarudi nikasema ya kwamba Mungu anaposhuka he brings manifestation. Na sasa hawa watu wakaona ya kwamba jambo lingine nikasema they repented before God. Praise the name of Jesus. Mungu wetu atusaidie kwa sababu waliangalia wakaona sasa kumeharibika kabisa kumebomolewa kwa sababu ya vita na tunakiri na kusema siku ya leo ya kwamba hata taifa letu halitaharibiwa katika jina la Yesu amani itatawala kila mahali in the 47 counties in Jesus mighty name kwa sababu hawa walipofanya dhambi mbele za Mungu ndio maana nchi yao ikaharibiwa wengine wakapelekwa pambi na mateka lakini ashukuru Bwana that there was a remnant ambayo ilibaki in the city of Judah praise the name of the Lord you are a remnant today mwambie Mungu wewe ndiye baba wetu Bwana Yesu asifiwe nasema siku nyingine ya kwamba kwa Mungu hakuna grandfather hakuna uncle Bwana Yesu asifiwe atutuseme sasa sabu tu ni mdogo Mungu ni muka wao <laughs> Hakuna kitu kama hiyo Lord you are our father Amen. Tukiwa mbele za Mungu sisi wote tumesimama line moja Praise the name of Jesus Amen. and he is able to hear our prayer Amen. in Jesus mighty name Amen. Na ndio nawatia nguvu hata vijana na watoto wadogo God is your father Amen. In Jesus mighty name Na nasikia maubi yetu yote In the mighty name of Jesus So mungu wetu He is our father Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bamba watuniani tumefundishwa Kine tunafaa ni kumuti Ili tuweze Iweze kuwa vizuri na sisi Na alafu tenda Ili tuweze kuishi miya kamingi Kwa hii dunia Na pia bamba watunia Watuwanyeshe mwerekeo Watuwanyeshe mfano Vile tunafaa kuishi Na diyo mana tunafaa kujiuliza The way I live Is it an example to my children Wanaweza kunifuata Wanaweza kusema I follow the God of my mother God of my father Mungu wetu atusaidie Take responsibility Usimame katika nafasi yako Open a good example Nimesema ya kwamba God is our father Lakini sisi we are parents of our children Bwana Yesu atusaidie. It is also a new dimension ya kuomba. Na new dimension sio kila wakati. Unaambia Mungu nisaidie to be a good example to my children. Hata wale hawana watoto, unaweza kuomba mwambie Bwana, I want to be a good example. Mtu ambaye ataonekana ya kwamba anampenda Mungu, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ayuko alikuwa anaamka asubuhi mapema. Sikio nasema hii kwa nini? 
kuonyesha ya kwamba wazazi wao waliondoka katika njia za Mungu. This means tunapoondoka katika njia za Mungu we destroy our generations. Maana hatuwezi kosa kufuata Mungu watoto wetu wamfuate. Hata wale wanamfuata it is just by the grace of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe na Mungu wetu atusaidie. Na nashukuru Mungu wetu because nikiwa nikiwa class 4 ndio mama yangu alirudi kanisani. Alikuwa amepotea church. Hakuwa naenda kanisani. Niliwaambia siku nyingine asante. Ilikuwa siku yake ya kwenda kuni. Alikuwa anasema mbie kotiwe hela. Hiyo sio kazi. Mungu wetu atusaidie. Lakini when I was in class 4 akarudi church. Hapo ndio nilianza kwenda kanisani nikiwa serious. So we can be a good example to our children. And I thank God. That is where that hapo beginning is where my walk of faith began. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na ikakuwa progressive hadi nikafika high school. Nikajua kumbe wasichana wanaokoka si kwa ninajua mimi. Nilijua ni nipatizwe, niseme class, nipate marks yangu nzuri, nilipata distinction. There is something sweet called salvation. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. But let us be a good example to our children. Not only physical, even spiritual. Praise the name of the Lord. What I saw is him. What I want to To pray in the new dimension. The new dimension in which you will never get used to pray. How to soar? How to say what God will be from the breath of the when the fire comes upon your life, that will be a simple yell that God will make a difference in your life and He is going to manifest. That in our Babu will be ruddy and to manifest Katika Maisha in every life. For Kira Kijana, Kira Muse, Kira Baba, Kira Toto, and Yama, and Hapa, where we are bound to Kubani, who just sing with your leo. May the Lord shake your mountains. Shila do Kasala Bayana. Sinabo Shele Kasala. Rashete makasile babanda, rekashote basa.